students always ask, how is mathematics important in their life? This is so because students perceive the subject hard to learn, although mathematics is an interesting and straightforward subject to learn. Now, in this video, attention is given to what is a simple, what is mathematics, why is mathematics important, and finally, how to learn mathematics. What is a symbol? A symbol represents an idea, an object, or a relationship. For instance, the red ribbon is the universal symbol of awareness and support for people living with HIV AIDS. The day is celebrated every 1st of December worldwide. So each time you see this symbol, you know that it represents awareness and support for people living with HIV AIDS. That's the idea, because we say a symbol represents an idea. So the idea to this is awareness and support for people living with HIV AIDS. What is mathematics? Mathematics as a language makes use of symbols and notations for describing numerical, geometrical, and graphical relationships. Here you need to understand that we are saying mathematics as a language, it is going to make use of symbols and notations to do what? To describe numerical, geometrical, and graphical relationships. For instance, 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. We have made use of the symbols 5, the plus, the 6, the equal sign, and the 11. So this is a mathematical statement because we have used symbols, right, to give us a relationship between um, the numerical situation here. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Again, this is a geometrical relationship, right? We have used the small triangle, the letters, and this sign, which simply represent congruent triangles. So it's a geometrical relationship. Y is equals F at X, functional notation, and you see this circle is giving us a relation between y and x, where we know that y is a function of x. So again, it represents graphical relationship. Mathematics as a human activity involves observing, representing, and investigating patterns and qualitative relationships in physical and social happenings and between mathematical objects themselves. So here we carry out the activity by observing and representing, then try to understand whatever would have represented. For instance, keeping record of birth and death rests of a nation. We record this information, but this information will tell us whether the population is increasing or is decreasing. Okay, why is mathematics important? This is always asked by each student studying mathematics. The reason is that students perceive the subject hard to learn, although it is really important to learn it because of the following reasons. One, it's good for your brain. Mathematics helps to develop mental processes that enhance logical and critical thinking. That is the analytical thinking. Hence, students who study mathematics have higher logical analytical skills. You should always remember this. Two, real world applications of mathematics. 
the importance of mathematics can be seen in hidden ways and in everyday usage all around us. That is to say, in computers, airplanes, body scanners, software, coding, higher purchase, and much more. As a way of trying to make sure that you understand, when it comes to higher purchase, you can go to a garage and have a car without paying a cent. You'll be using that car paying bit by bit, but you should know how much are you supposed to pay and after how long. And that's when we use what we refer to as the mathematics of finance to come up with such answers to say how much are you supposed to pay each month and for how long, right? Then it is um, better problem solving skills. These problem solving skills are obtained when you um, do mathematics, right? As a student of mathematics, you will develop better systems for problem solving. That is learning how to, how applied mathematics solves real world issues. That is very, very important because once you have um, the understanding of how applied mathematics solves the real world issues, you will be a person who will be very creative in the society. Therefore, there is no doubt that becoming competent in mathematics can advance your problem solving skill, an important factor in our life. Mathematics helps almost every career. Mathematics offers great career options for students. For instance, without mathematics, you cannot be an engineer, a computer programmer, a mathematics teacher, a medical doctor, or even a business manager. All of these careers that I've mentioned here are different, but the one thing they have in common is that each of them require a strong developed skill set in mathematics. That means for you to do any one of these, obviously you need to have developed a skill set in mathematics. It is the universal language. Mathematics is the universal language, meaning it is the one language in the world that is universally understood across different cultures, countries, and languages. The simple arithmetic of two plus two is equals to four is the same around the world. That means wherever I go in the world, if you write this down, anyone can tell you that two plus two is equals to four because it is a universal language known by everybody. Equations, proofs, theorems, and solving a mathematical problem are done the same way whether you speak Russian, French, English, or any language. That is important. All that matters is understanding the mathematical concept. This can be helpful if you are working on a project with a foreign country. You will be able to communicate well on the numbers side of things, which is very productive since you speak the same language and that language is mathematics. So, Mathematics is a field of immense importance. As such, mathematics can lead to surprising and fulfilling career paths. Therefore, as students, you should take learning concepts in mathematics seriously. However, 
How can you attain mastery of concepts or skills in mathematics? Or put differently, how can you learn mathematics? Now, one can attain master of concepts or skills in mathematics as shown in the flow chart. What you need to notice first is you need to learn a new skill. But as you learn that new skill, the main objective is you need to demonstrate master of that learned skill, right? So learning a new skill, it will be with the help of your teacher or anybody responsible. Then once you learn that new skill, you need to practice the skill. As you practice the skill, you are bound to make mistakes. But when you make mistakes, do you know why? If no, then ask for help from your teacher or peer. If you know why, then fix the mistakes, right? After fix, fixing the mistakes, you need now to quiz on the skill. But as you quiz on the skill, you are bound to make mistakes. Then again, do you know why? If not, ask for help. If yes, fix the mistakes. After fixing the mistakes, you then requeez on the skill. But if again, in the process of requeezing, you make mistakes, do you know why? If no, ask for help. If yes, you know why, then fix the mistakes. So at this stage, you are expected to demonstrate master. So we are saying you need to understand that this is the flow chart for learning mathematics. And mathematics is learned by doing. And the doing flow chart is the one that I've put here to say, learn your new skill, but practice it. As you do the practice, you make mistakes, you ask for help, you fix the mistakes, you quiz on the skill, you make mistakes, you fix the mistakes, you requeez on the skill, and finally, you demonstrate mastery. This is the flow chart for learning mathematics. I thank you.